Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a routine to relieve neck pain. This routine is broken up into two parts. In part one, we're gonna perform some stretches to loosen up your neck, as well as the muscles surrounding your neck. And in part two, we're gonna do some strengthening exercises. The only equipment that's required for this routine today is either a hand towel or a resistance band. All right, let's begin. We're gonna start with some active neck rotations. So for all of these moves that we're gonna to do today, Claudia and I are gonna demonstrate them standing, but if you prefer, you can also do them from a seated position. All right, so we're gonna start with the active neck rotation. We're starting with our head looking forward, good posture. Now we're slowly gonna rotate to the right and return back to center. We're gonna do five nice controlled full rotations. And every time you do this rotation, I want you to try to get a little bit more of a stretch every time. Keep your shoulders down and relaxed, and then back to center. On this fifth and final one, I want you to hold for 10 seconds. Feel a nice stretch. Again, all these stretches we're gonna do today, I want you to take it to the point where it feels good and not where it starts to hurt. Three, two, one, zero, back to center, excellent. Okay, let's go the opposite direction now. Full rotation. And again, that usually ends up being about 90% of what you're capable of. That last 10% sometimes it could, uh, you can get there, but it's, you're not gonna get there without any pain. So we don't want you to have pain. Side to side, nice and controlled. Little more movement on every one. Okay, let's do one more on this last one. Hold, good. Full 10 second hold, again, feeling that stretch. Nice and controlled breathing. And we're gonna hold this one for three, two, one, zero. Good, coming back to center. Next, we're gonna do a active side bend. So this time it's really important that you, you keep your shoulders relaxed and down. We're gonna take your ear and act like we're trying to touch our ear to our shoulder, but don't bring your shoulder up to it. Instead, we're just bending over at the neck. No shoulder movement, shoulders stay nice and relaxed and you feel that stretch down the side of your neck. And we're doing the same thing. We're gonna go five. Last one right here. Full ones, and then the last one, hold. Feel that stretch. Again, keep those shoulders relaxed. I know it could be tempting to bring that shoulder up, but don't do it. Let's hold this one for three, two, one, and back to center. Excellent, okay, let's hit the opposite side now. Again, nice full range of motion. And you know, depending on where you have your stiffness and your tightness. Some of these may be easier, some of them may be harder. Feel free to customize this routine for your needs. Last movement right here. Last one, and we're holding for 10 seconds. Good, again, just hold and breathe. Shoulders stay relaxed. All that stretch is just in your neck. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero, back up, excellent. All right, next, let's go into a neck flexion. So again, starting with good posture, head looking straight ahead. Now let's bring that chin down into our chest and back to square. Five full rotations on this one. Being sure to breathe. Feeling your neck loosen up just a little bit with every rep. Good, all right, let's hit this last one. And hold. And so our intent is for you to come back, get a little bit better every time, relieve that pain a little more, get a little looser. This routine can be repeated anywhere from three to five times per week. Let's hold for three, two, one, zero, return back up. Ooh, I feel that one down my back. Yeah, yeah, so well again, wherever you're tight, you're probably where you're gonna feel it the <laughs> most. So let's move on to some neck extension. So now, keeping that good forward head posture. Let's bring that chin up to the sky, looking back, and back to square. Again, we're going five full rotations. Keep good posture, shoulders stay relaxed and down. 
No herky-jerky motions on this one. Standard control. Excellent breed. And let's hit that last one and let's hold for 10 seconds. Good. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. For three, two, one, zero. Back to square. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to need that either that band or that towel that we told you we're going to need at the beginning. I'm going to use a band. Claudia's going to use a towel. Next, we're going to do a scalene stretch. So I'd like you to hold your band or towel just behind it, your back with your hands real nice and close together. I'd like you to drop your right shoulder as far down as you can. Keep your left shoulder square, normal. Drop that right shoulder. Now we're going to do similar to what we did earlier with that side bend where we try to bring that left ear to our shoulder. Again, this shoulder stays relaxed. Don't bring this one up. Driving that right shoulder down as we take our head to our left. Feel that stretch. This one is just the hold. We're not doing the active rotation at the same time. Just a 10 second hold in total. So let's go for three, two, one, zero. Good. Let's switch it up. Hit that opposite side now. So drop your left shoulder as low as you can. Keep that right shoulder square. I know it's kind of funny and hard to do. This is called a scalene stretch. And now bring that right ear best you can to your right shoulder. Your scalene is here in that front of the neck, that front and side of the neck. Feel that good stretch. Let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. And relax. Good. That one was tight on me. Okay, so we can set your band or towel down for the next one. We're going to do an elevator scapula stretch. For this one, let's go ahead and take your right hand, place it up onto your right trap or up here by your, by your neck. Get that elbow in. Now with your opposite side hand, I'd like you to go ahead and go ahead and reach behind your head. We're going to pull your head down, your chin down, and at the same time, we're going to pull down to the opposite direction. So it's down and to the left. So not just straight down, not to the left, but down and to the left, like we're pulling that chin towards your, your left leg. Good. Feel that stretch. Keep that hand on your trap if you can. If you need to, you can move it here. And again, it's just a static stretch. We're just holding on this one. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero, and relax. Good, shake it loose. And let's hit that opposite side now. So opposite side arm on that trap. Right arm comes up over your head, pulls down the top of your head. And I can tell my left side's a little tighter oh, yeah. today. And that's like I said, perfectly normal to have one side tighter than the other. But definitely need to do both sides. I guess because I sleep on my left side, this side is really tight on me. And that's definitely one major cause of neck stiffness and neck pain. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Our first strengthening exercise is going to be a forward ISO contraction. So go ahead and take one hand, place it on your forehead. Now keeping your shoulders square, we're going to press your head into that hand, creating opposite and equal pressure from your arm. Now we don't want your head to be here and forward. We want it to still be straight up and down, but we want just consistent pressure and you want to feel that contraction in the in front of your neck muscles making sure to breathe and we're just going to press and hold pressing into that hand breathe and let's hold this one for three two one zero good all right now let's do the same thing but to the side so starting on your right side you wouldn't place your hand on your right temple and now you'll see on this one i'm not actually going to turn and bend my head but instead my head is going to go straight into this opposite hand here. Keep your good posture, shoulders are back. Just consistent pressure. We're trying to get all these neck muscles to fire and, and to contract. 
See if we have any in here that are just asleep and refusing to fire on us for whatever reason. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. Opposite side now, left side, and that left temple. And again, we're just creating equal pressure. A little isometric contraction now. You can feel it on that left side. I'm Don't. not going to be surprised if I wake up a little sore tomorrow from all of this. <laughs> hey, it means, it, it means it's Kinda working. Kind of like when you do ab routines and you're exactly. holding your head up. I always, we always get questions about why your neck is sore. This is usually why. Because well, it's working. That's yep. why, right? Just like any other muscle. Three, two, one, zero. All right. Moving on. We're going to do a chin tuck. So this time, keeping your head nice and straight, we're not going to do an extension and bring your chin up. But instead, your chin is coming in and tucking. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you bring your head back and tuck that chin. I know this one, if you're doing it right, you're going to expose that <laughs> double, triple chin. It's okay. It's not the most flattering. I know. We don't look all that cool right now, but that's okay. At least we're not going to have a painful neck. So tucking that chin, bringing it straight back. Feel it stretch. Keep the chin down and tucked. Pulling it in, just drawing it in for three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna need either your, your band or your towel. And we are going to do a pull apart. So again, it's another isometric contraction. Let's go ahead and have your hands on that band or the towel about nine to 12 inches apart, slight bend in your elbows. And now we're going to pull apart and just hold. So we're actually pulling apart. We're squeezing the middle of our backs on this one. Now, why are we working our backs uh, in a neck strengthening video? Well, that's because your upper back muscles really help to support your head and your neck so that it's not working alone. If those muscles are weak or lengthened, then it's going to be hard for your neck to do its job. So feel those back muscles squeezing. Keep those elbows up. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we're going to go one more time through. Go ahead and set that down. So that means we're going back to that forward ISO contraction. Hand is on our forehead. I know these are kind of awkward, but they really do work and they don't require any equipment. So again, keep that head nice and square. We're driving into that palm and we're just holding. Keep squeezing, keep pressing forward with your head. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. And relax, shake it loose. And let's do that side contraction. Now, hands on our temple. We're going to go into that right side. Again, trying your best to keep your head straight up and down and not tilting it on this one. Find that sweet spot where you're able to do that. Excellent work. Starting to feel better already here. Let's hold it for three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose. And Feels good. We got one more to go. Let's hit it. And that left side. Going right through these. Like I said, this you can come back and repeat this routine between two to five times per week, really what your schedule allows and, and how much work you need. But it definitely can be done often. Now opposite side, let's squeeze for three, two, one, and zero. And then all of our favorites, I'm sure. My favorite. <laughs> is the chin tuck. <laughs> okay, shoulders are relaxed. Let's get it over with, guys. Come on now. Thanks like for uh, making me do this in front of millions of people. Well, you know, what are husbands for, right? <laughs> <laughs> Draw that chin back and in. This is a great one if you have forward head posture or if you spend a lot of time staring at your cell phone or driving you don't in a do car that. or at a computer, any of those things. Keep tucking it. Let's tuck it for five, four, three, two, one, zero, shake it loose. Okay, let's hit this last one, grabbing either your band or your towel. We'll have a set of pull-aparts next, slight bend in those elbows, hands are nine to 12 inches apart. 
and let's pull apart squeeze those back muscles uh, so i don't want you here with your shoulders rounded forward but make sure you have those shoulders back and now pull apart and it's like somebody has their finger in the middle of your back and you're just trying to squeeze that finger with your back pull apart pull apart hold excellent Feel that back squeezing those elbows up let's hold this one for three two one zero nice job excellent work everybody i hope you enjoyed this routine and if you did you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results we'd please encourage you to go check out our patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free and if you did enjoy this workout today we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel that way you are notified and you never miss another workout from hasfit Make sure to check out hasfit.com for hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness program. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, did I miss one? Probably, but wherever <laughs> you are, we Come are find too. Us. Come find us. We want to connect with you. Thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.